In this video, we are going to learn how to install Zbot in Geometry Dash. Let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Derek ZXZ and today I'm going to be showing, showing you all how to install Zbot in Geometry Dash. First of all, there are two types of Zbot. There is the f uh, paid one and there is the free one. For now, I'm going to be using the free one. So let's begin. So once you have uh, your PC open, you're going to go to Steam and you're going to go uh, to library and you're going to go to Geometry Dash. Uh, so right click on right, uh, Geometry Dash and then uh, go to properties. So I'm press on local files and press on browse. Well, once we are done, you can close this. It's not important, but this is the geometry dash directory. Okay, guys. So once you open the folder, you're going to see this. So what you're going to do, you're going to bring the zbot uh, file and put it in the geometry dash directory. But um, the free one is going to be called zbotfree.dll it has to be called zbot.dll or it won't work so you're going to rename it to zbot.dll i'm going to i'm going to be putting the name in the description but anyways you're going to put this and after that you can just open George dash you can close this if you want to so let's open Jupiter Dash and I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys. So uh, once we uh, open Jupiter Dash, we are going to use we are going to use uh, MegaHack version five. I'm go I'm also going to be linking this in the description. So uh, I'm going to open MegaHack, and once you open uh, MegaHack, you're just going to go to global, and you're going. And you're going to press on inject DLL and then you're going to go to the geometry dash directory I have it linked uh, in my quick access um, so you're going to so you're going to go to the geometry dash directory here is the directory as you guys can see uh, on my folder um, and you're going to choose zbot.dll As you guys injected it's going to say success DLL probably injected uh, and if it didn't work it's probably because of couple of reasons so once we are done you we are going to leave mega hack open but we're going to enable no anti-cheat because if you are like uh, using Zbot it will it might kick you or uh, not let you uh, complete the level uh, or that stuff so we're just going to leave it opened by now and we're going to go back to geometry dash and the key and we're going to press the right shift on our keyboard and it should show this uh, as you guys can see it's saying Z what free because I'm using the free one I didn't buy it and now we're going to choose any level you want to uh, record for now I'm going to go with um, stereo madness so before we enter the level we're gonna press record so uh, it records the gameplay and you can if you want to close this uh, you can just uh, press right shift again so once we open the level, you can just uh, if we open if we press red shift again, it will say uh, current replay names, which is to remember this this is the level, and uh, FPS is 60 FPS. This is my frame rate on my monitor, which is 60 FPS. Uh, this uh, probably won't work, but I don't know. Uh, you can test it if you want to. But what's, uh, what's important is we are recording the level. So once we uh, close, uh, so once we are in the level, we are going to go in the practice mode. And once we are in, all we have to do is just place checkpoints around here. So after I finish, I'm going to uh, show you guys the gameplay. But a quick disclaimer. 
in the ship mode it's not pretty accurate so uh, you have to um, uh, uh, spam the checkpoints a lot of times uh, and that's it so um, I'll see you guys after I finish uh, with the level it's pretty laggy here okay guys so I finished practicing as you guys can see I finished it in one attempt because it's like the easiest level in geometry dash and geometry dash while back on track is the hardest but anyways um, once we are done we if we press right shift again it will uh, automatically uh, go on disable mode so um, what we're going to do uh, if we if we uh, want to make uh, the level auto uh, you we are going to press uh, press on playback and after that press on uh, or just play the level and it should play by itself sorry because of the lag my PC is not that good and as you guys can see there is the word Zbot uh, on our screen and I will be showing you guys how to get rid of it um, after we uh, after I finish so as you guys can see I'm not even touching my mouse it jumped by itself sorry because of the lag my PC is very bad um, and, uh, there you go we have successfully installed Zbot and knew how to use it in Jupyter Dash so uh, what I'm going to do uh, now uh, for I mean for harder levels for example bloodbath and that stuff uh, I recommend using a uh, cheat engine just in case uh, because uh, some cases um, there are tricky timings and that stuff uh, so I prefer using it for example the ship point the straight fly you can't like press on your uh, the mouse very fast and uh, press pressing the checkpoints uh, uh, very fast so I recommend using it and sick and set this uh, speed at 0 0.2 and there you go but now we are not finished yet I'm going to be getting rid of uh, the Z bot uh, uh, file. Uh, I mean the Zbot uh, word that's uh, showing on our screen. For example, if you want to record something and uh, put it on YouTube or that stuff, uh, it's uh, a little. Uh, it's a little bit annoying to uh, be shown on our screen. So I'm going to exit Geometry Dash and I'll show, and I'll show you guys how to get rid of it. So once we um, finished uh, with the bot and that stuff, we're going to get rid of the Z bot word that is showing on our screen. Um, uh, so we are going to go back to the Geometry Dash directory, and after that, as you guys can see, there is a new folder called Replays. This is where our replay will be stored in. As I recorded Serial Madness, it will be called Serial Madness .bot. But anyways, uh, we're going to go to resources, and we are we are going to find uh, the gold font. As you guys can see, here is the for uh, the gold font right here. But um, uh, you're going to edit the one depending on what uh, um, graphics you're using. If you are using the load uh, graphics, you're going to go with the uh, uh, .png. And if you're using the medium graphics, you're going to go with the uh, uh, hd.png. And if you're using the high graphics, as I'm using right now, you're going to go with the uh, uhd.png but for now i'm going to be editing the hd one now we are going to edit the uh, file uh, but for now i'm going to be editing it with uh, paint 3d all right guys so here we are um uh, we are on the 
uh, font so what we are going to do is uh, get rid of the letter Z B O and uh, T so uh, of course you're, go you're going to get rid of the lowercase and uppercase so uh, once you're done with that, just uh, save this and you should be uh, okay. Alright guys, so uh, as you guys can see, the, here is how it should look like for me. Um, uh, but before we uh, save, uh, you're, we are going to make a backup and put it anywhere uh, you want to. I already made one and put it on my uh, uh, desktop but uh, since we are good and I have a backup we, c we can uh, save it because uh, there are a couple uh, uh, letters, uh, letters not uh, shown on our screen so I prefer uh, back, uh, backupping before we do anything else so as you guys can see I saved and now we if we go back to geometry dash the word uh, zmot won't be uh, on our screen all right guys so here we are I opened studio madness and uh, of uh, uh, quick uh, info every time you open geometry dash you have to uh, inject the DLL every single time so I'm going to do that uh, real quick okay so I did that now if I press sh uh, right shift it should pop up and if we want to play back the level you're going to go to import replay by name must be in replays folder as you guys can, it's, uh, as you guys can see it literally said must be in replays folder which is in our dash There's no need if you want to type uh, .zmod, but it will still work. Uh, you can just type Steam Madness. And after that, uh, after we are done, we're not just going to play the level. We're going to go and press import. Uh, it, it told me an error because uh, I messed it over by accident. Uh, there you go. It's singing uh, the current play dang Siri Madness. And now, if I play the level again, it should uh, work, and there's not a single word on the screen. As you guys can see, here it is, there is not a single word on our screen. If you guys found this helpful, a like would be appreciated and uh, also a subscribe and you can unsubscribe at any time you want to. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.